Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about force, mass, acceleration, and Newton's second law. And hopefully we won't be hurting our fingers anymore. In case you don't remember, a force is anything that causes a change in motion. A force can make something move, cause something to change its speed, or stop it from moving. For example, if I flick this creepy panda, I apply a force to it. If I stop the panda from falling, I also apply a force to it. Now, everything around us is made of stuff. Scientists have all kinds of names for this stuff, but one of the smallest things we can see are atoms. Well, actually, they're way, way too small to see with your eyes. These atoms make up everything around us, from the air, to the table, to the food we eat. Matter is the stuff that makes up everything around us. Now, different things have different amounts of matter in them. For example, this box is big, but it isn't made up of a whole lot of matter. There's a lot of space between the matter and the box. Now, even though this toolbox takes up almost the same amount of space, it is made up of a lot more matter. Mass is how much matter is in something. The box has mass, but not very much in the large space it takes up. The toolbox also takes up space, but it has much greater mass. And it really hurts your finger if you try to flick it. It's important to know how much mass something has because mass makes things harder to move. For example, this toolbox has a ton of mass. It takes a lot of force to try to move it. Whereas this box takes up a lot of space, but has a much lower mass, which makes it easier to move. If you want to change the motion of something, you need to know how much mass it has. The more mass, the harder it is to get it to start or stop moving. No, wait, no, I'm not catching that. <gasps> no, put that back. Put, <gasps> put it back. I'm not catching it. It takes too much force. Acceleration is the change of speed or direction. If this box is sitting still and I move it, I've accelerated it. If another object is moving and I slow it down, I accelerate it too. Anytime an object changes speed, that's acceleration. If we wanna know how much force it'll take to speed up an object or slow it down, we need to know its mass. My old buddy Sir Isaac Newton even created a formula to tell us how much force it takes to get things to accelerate. F equals MA. That means force equals mass times acceleration. We can use this formula to find out how much force it takes to accelerate an object. We can even use it to look at how massive the object is that we're accelerating. Or we can use it to find out how much an object accelerates when we apply a force to it. Right, Plastic Spaceman? Good one. Thanks for sharing Newton's second law. That's it for today. See you next time. Hey, Spaceman, you okay? Hold up your, your drill if you're okay. He's all good. Whew. Yeah. All right, that's all we have time for.